Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Monty, with your antler so bright, you can have all my treats tonight. That's what you're going to say, right? Right? Now that's what I'm looking for. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! All right, we've got ourselves a Christmas tree. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Tis the season. I'm out with this little carnivorous reindeer that lost his tie. It's Christmas. So Merry Christmas once again. Um, it takes a lot longer than you'd think to find a nice little perfect little Christmas tree next to trees to tie to with an open spot. So already got a late start not even going to talk about it not even going to delve deep into it but I'm warm a I'm sweating and it just took a lot longer to find this little this perfect little Christmas tree but guess what we're here we're there and we've got the perfect tree. So, let's see, which trees are we tying to? I think, maybe, if I go there, hmm, either way, we're gonna set down our bag of goodies right here. Monty, you lost your tie back there. Right, Mr. Reindeer? Oh, I see. You snap right off. We'll go back and get it. Oh, don't lose your antlers. Oh, no. How else are you supposed to be a carnivorous reindeer? Okay. So, like I said, I'm sweating. I'm warm. It is very warm today. It, winter is technic technically just started, but it's by far the warmest day of winter so far. Um, it, it's been in the teens, and right now it's like 40, 40 something. So it is just too warm for me. I've just got my little thin layer on, and I'm sweating. Oh no, what's this? Oh, the key to my truck. Oh, that'd be a real nice, nice Christmas present <laughs> to wake up to. Oh, my key buried in snow. No way to go home. All right, Monty, we gotta get to work here. I think what we're gonna do, oh, this isn't the best spot. Hmm, it must be better to go this way. All right, hold on, I need a minute to think here. That looks like it could work right there. We're gonna make it work right here. These two little trees, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be narrow, but, uh, we're gonna make it work. Okay, that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. So let's get right to it. Okie dokes. So, we'll have a fire right here next to the tree. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're on the edge of a pine forest, as you can see. <sighs> Just got outside of it. So it's nice to have this little tree here. Nice little spot for it. There's more snow here than I was thinking there is. Uh oh, Monty. Uh oh. 
shoes. These gloves I'm using, these aren't waterproof gloves. They're, they're just military surplus gloves. But uh, I love these things. They're not waterproof, like I said, but, and they're, there's some holes. <laughs> Getting some holes, my thumb's sticking out. So they're, they're only like, what, six bucks? But they're getting, they're getting past their prime. But anyways, I'm not using my other gloves right now, even though these aren't waterproof, cause it's just a little too warm for those. Those are like deep winter gloves. Monty, you're such a good little reindeer. Yes, you are. Don't worry, I'm getting you a spot. Hi, Monty! Hi! Yeah, we're gonna take care of your snowballs. We got ourselves a nice tree, though. Look at the tree, Monty. Get these ferns out of here. Oh, look at that. It just. Oh, it's getting even better. Oh, yeah. So perfect. I don't think Monty appreciates his antlers. <laughs> okay, Monty. We're gonna take off his antlers. But we can't forget about his tie. I know it's back right there on the edge. I know it's right there. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Monty, don't worry, we're gonna set up the shelter. We're gonna cruise, okay? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every Christmas card I write. May your dreams be merry and bright and may all your Christmases be quiet. <sighs> I'm gonna pass out if I keep doing that. Shovel like this. Okay, we've almost got a section cleared out. I might need to, I might need to clear a whole bunch of snow off. <laughs> so right now we're just gonna focus, get the tarp up, and we can do sleep stuff and everything later. So tarp up, get the tree decorated, and then we've got to get some firewood before it gets too dark. So let's see what we've got for the tarp. Let's see if we've got enough room. This tree's uh, <laughs> it's a little small. Small that I could go to the further tree. We'll see how it looks, but it's gonna sway a little bit tonight. <laughs> I've got a terrible gag reflex and I just had to clip the gloves in my mouth and it made me kind of gag a little, oh man, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's see if this even, it's even gonna work. It should just work. Oh, <laughs> it's barely gonna work. Oh man, we're gonna have to tie like this over to this tree. You know, I honestly don't think we really need the tarp tonight. 
I was mostly having the tarp in case we had to spend the night in those trees. And this, you know, it's gonna be a little loose, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Like I just said, I'm repeating myself now. Okay, we need some steaks. No, Monty, not those kind of steaks. Dead branch steaks. You silly. Not r delicious ribeye steaks. You crazy? Okay, I think that that is gonna do just fine for the evening. That's actually perfect. It's barely loosey-goosey. Okay, so we've got a grand total of 30 minutes left of daylight. So let's decorate the tree. The best part. Let's do it, Monty. You know, I'm realizing it's kind of hard to see the Christmas tree with this pine tree background. Maybe, hopefully the lights will help it a little bit. Okay. Oh shoot, oh geez, oh no, oh, it's, what the heck, oh no. Oh, these are a nightmare. Oh. oh, I made quite the mess. This is like these little, these are little wire LED lights. And let me tell you, they're a nightmare right now. It's like time to itself. You know, I probably should have done this check and see if these work before I even started stringing them up. Oh, they work. Do these work? Every year I do this, I add more lights. Oh man. <laughs> okay, what else do we got here? Monty thinks everything I'm crinkling is treats. But it's not. He's he's gonna get his later. Right, Mr. Monty? Are we feasting tonight? I know I shouldn't, but uh, we're spoiling the boy tonight. What, what am I saying, Monty? We should always spoil you, right? Is that what you think? Okay, let's keep it going. You know what's highly recommended when you come out here and you're making your own Christmas tree in the woods? Bring out glass bulbs. That way you gotta be extra careful. Don't get those cheap plastic ones. They don't look as nice. You know what I'm saying? It looks beautiful. Monty, look at the tree. Oops. This stuff. This isn't doing it for me. What we're going to do...
Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Oh, Monty T, oh, Monty T. Monty T T T T T T. That bulb needs to come down here. Right here. This bulb. Got it right here. Somewhere. We'll just do it right in here. Oh no. Oh, the sun's setting. Oh no. Oh, but you're spending too much time on the tree. Okay. I think that's perfect. If that ain't a Christmas tree, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so as you can see, the sun is setting. So I've got to go get some firewood quick. And uh, bring it back to camp. We can process it up here. But that's the next step. I, I need some firewood before it gets too dark. All right, Monty. You can come with. So... It's warm, we don't have to worry about him getting cold. He has some snowballs, we're gonna have to get those off. Nothing we can do about it with the sticky snow. Um, so we're gonna finish decorating camp when we get back. We've got some more lights and some other things to hang, but I need to go get firewood quick to bring it up to process here. So, since we're running low on time, sun is setting like now, uh, I'm just gonna go grab that quick. I'm just gonna grab my ax, and then I'll be right back with some chunks of firewood. Well, there's a nice dead, piece of pine right there. How perfect is that? Look at this big old dead maple. It was right here. It was just right here. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Monty. I'm not even kidding. I didn't notice that. I don't know how I didn't. Oh. We're going to be burning this guy in half. Oh no. Well. Okay, we'll just leave this here for now. But this is pretty much gonna have all the firewood we need for the entire night. Okay, so I'm gonna fix the tarp quick and now I'm just gonna grab some branches, some little stuff for burning. And this will be plenty to cook dinner. Seems seasoned enough to do the job. Okie dokes. Okay, now we're gonna get some little sticks. Then we're gonna give Monty a spot, even though he's fine. I'm gonna keep repeating myself a lot. It's okay. It's Christmas. Allow me to repeat myself a whole bunch. <laughs> then we'll set up, flatten this out, get the rest of the, the things set up and more stuff and things i'm just trying to scope out oh there's some dead branches right there some over there oh that was greasy um that's a christmas fart i need no i don't need snowshoes Ooh, there's another little dead thing there okay 
We don't need snowshoes. Let's go get some steaks. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hey, dude. Come here, buddy. Come here. Let's see your snowballs. Let's see how bad they are. Oh, they're not so bad. They're not so bad, big guy. He doesn't have them in his undercarriage. He's just got them on the backs of his legs. And they're very soft. Look at that. For some reason, Ruger always gets the snowballs ten times worse than Monty does. Usually. I think it's because his fur is a little light and feathery or, or something. Monty's got more coarse hair. Okay, those are pretty much taken care of. Well, I mentioned this in my last video, the last Overnighter Sunday's video, um, when I have a whole bunch of time, um, I take my time, I poke around. When I've got not a lot of time, I hustle. And luckily things are coming together. I've got tons of good firewood, shelters all set up, I even got a tree set up. I think we're pretty much uh, on par where we were in the last video. We might even have more wood, more stuff done already. Just, and, I'm, and I did it in a lot shorter time. So, what we're gonna do now is get you a sleeping pad blown up, you little critter, and keep decorating the camp. Yes, yes we are, yes we are. <laughs> Vicious reindeer. Oh, vicious reindeer. Oh, 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 your teeth are sharp. Oh, okay, okay. All right, Monty. I'm gonna get you a sleeping pad. We're gonna keep decorating. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Who's there? Monty. Who's that? Who's that? Who's there? Who is that? 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 Don't like your antlers, huh? You don't like your antlers, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Almost tricked him. We're gonna even out this ground here a little bit. For uh, no pop sleeping pads 2019 or 2020, Playing a dangerous game, attacking him right near these sticks and throwing it. Probably not the brightest idea there. We've got you an official spot. Yeah, right here. Oh, that's a good boy. It's okay. You're just a good boy. I'm gonna scoot your butt. I'm gonna scoot your butt. Oh, good boy. All right. We'll take your booties off, okay? Now that you've got an area. Monty lost a blooty. Oh, stay there. You shouldn't have lost your booty. Your, your booty. Wait. I just said you shouldn't have lost your booty. And when I said it, I was thinking I was referring to his booty. But when I set, reset it, I realized booty is booty. Feet booty, not butt booty. There's a 
she's stocking right there. Okay. Is that all our festivities? All right. So, I think it's coming together. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, so the next step. Hmm. Well, well, well. I guess let's start processing up some firewood and uh, we can get a fire going here. Let's do that. That is one reindeer that does not approve of his antlers. What are you doing, Monty? Monty. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right. Let's chop off a little firewood. Or saw up some firewood. And then tidy up camp. Right, Monty? We'll oh, get a fire going, too. That's on the list of stuff we got to do. All right, Monty's gonna take off his antlers for a minute here. Yeah, that's a solid wood right there. This one, we're just gonna burn that one in half. Only need to do the one, the one chop. So now I'm gonna clear out our fire pit because it's gonna be a hotter fire tonight, hot fire. And uh, yeah, I want it too close so we can sit back and actually enjoy this one. Last fire was way too hot fire. That should be cleared out enough to enjoy the fire. Let's spark her up. Okay. Set these down as a little mini base. Got some birch bark I gathered on the way in. Love me some birch bark. So you can see my poor little gloves. You can see my thumb. <laughs> There's other holes too. Okay.
guess who wins the ultimate best as good as boy of the year? Is you. Oh, you forgot your antlers. That's a good boy. All right, Monty. What do you say we throw the stick? Okay. We've got ourselves a fire going. We've got camp set up. It's all just coming together just perfectly. Got the big piece that's gonna burn right in half. I'll have to burn it in half twice and then it'll pile on and we'll have a nice coal bed to cook on. Super hot fire. It's just gorgeous out. Everything's coming together, Monty. So, I'm gonna throw my snowshoes and we are going to make Monty a path. Let's see, Monty, let's find a perfect location for your stick session. Let's see, over here. You want this? You want this, you little reindeer? Okay. Fetch stick, reindeer. <laughs> Ooh, that reminds me. I need to get his uh, thing. The thing. You know, the thing that was on him that he wore for two shots and then ripped it off? Bring it here, Monty. All right. Montoff the brown antler deer, dog deer, that's what you are. Come on, I'm not, I'm not playing your games. I'm gonna I'm a leave. I should have left my snowshoes on to get that. I'm just gonna follow my path. I think I know where it's at. Monty, I got your, I got your, your bow tie. I got it, Monty. Now you lost your antlers. Well, what the heck? What the heck? All right. No, I'm not gonna leave his antlers on for now. So the sun is officially set. Oh, wow, almost an hour ago. It's still just lingering, it's a clear night. I don't even think we're gonna need the tarp, like I said. It's gonna be a pretty clear night tonight. Could have just slept under the stars, but we pretty much are when you're with when you're in the tarp. But you know, with the tarp we can hang the lights, and I think we got a real nice camp going on here. I love having the tree up, just having the twinkle of lights. It's beautiful. So for tonight, Monty, like I said, he's getting a special treat. I probably shouldn't do it, but I figure if we maybe make it a once a year tradition it'll be okay even though it's not once a year because he pretty much gets this at thanksgiving christmas with my parents and now this so it's more like three times a year but he's going to get a no kibble dinner and have the exact same thing i'm eating and what we're having is a christmas feast we're having ham Roast it up on a stick over the fire with some mashed potatoes and gravy, corn, bannock, and uh, yeah. He's not gonna have any corn though. That's not good for him. I'm gonna have the corn poops. But anyways, we're making a feast tonight. Come on, let's go, go back, get back, get back. Get back, you little bunny. I like holding out in the winter time as long as I can without using that light. Because uh, the, the light on the camera, I mean, it's great for seeing and everything, but uh, right now, it's like perfect out. I don't need a headlamp. I've got the glow of the fire, the gl glow of the tree line. You can see very well, but the camera is, has trouble picking up when it starts to get a little bit more dark than this. So the light's only there for pretty much you, the you know recording. Otherwise, it makes it hard to look because you can't see anything other than bright light. But, you know, it's a trade-off. You know, you guys got to be able to see what I'm doing. Well, 
I'm gonna keep playing fetch with myself here. You know, just throw on the stick, watch him Monty chase it. He tries to destroy it, and then I'm gonna go get the stick. Like a good boy that I am. I'm such a good boy. I'm such a good boy when I fetch my own stick. I'm such a good boy. Right, Monty? You're a naughty boy. You're a naughty reindeer. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty reindeer. We'll say though, this could be our my best tree, outdoor Christmas tree yet. We're lacking a little bit of colorful lights up here, but you know what? It's always perfect. That's the main thing. We've added some new lights. Perfect, perfect Christmas tree. So yeah, anywho, we're just gonna let this burn down a little bit here. Just relax, let the sun go down a little bit further, get a little darker, and then uh, we will put that light on there. And you know, I'm gonna set up some sleeping stuff currently. And then we'll get to relaxing and cooking and thinking about dinner in a bit. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Good boy. Like your little lights, Monty? If you go get your stick, I'll throw it. If you go get it, go get your stick. <laughs> go get it, Monty. So I just remembered something super important. If you ever out winter camping, um, never have your sled close to the warmth where the snow can melt on it and put ice or water on the bottom and then it freezes. And then you've got, it's not, it doesn't slide very well anymore. I've dealt with that a couple of times before I learned my lesson. And it is not enjoyable. It makes, you'd be surprised how much harder it makes pulling your sled when you've got some drag from ice formed on the bottom. So it was, I saw the water dripping off. I was like, oh yeah. And I pulled it behind the, the tarp. But uh, yeah, it's, it's still not very cold. I've got my watch set up over on a tree over there. We're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. And we're gonna find out what the temperature is. It just, there's no way it's below freezing right now. I just, I wouldn't, if, if that thing said below 32, I don't know if I'd even believe it. I don't know. Could be, I guess. I'm right near the fire. But I'm still just in my one layer that I hiked in on. I'm, I'm wearing what I hiked in with. you like for Christmas little boy? I want treats. That's all I want is food. Treats. You know, that kind of stuff. What about you? Well, wouldn't mind a new truck or even just the mirror to be fixed. Maybe the house to be paid off. You know, that kind of stuff. Well, that's, that's good. Treats is reasonable. I don't think Santa's gonna be pulling through on the things that I, I want. Well, it's been like an hour since I last checked in with you at least. Just been relaxing, um, set up my sleep stuff. Just uh, threw the stick for Monty a little bit. I ended up sawing up this big log and uh, putting the other chunk on the fire. 
we've almost got the main piece burned in half and then I can pile those two on I actually burned a lot of my firewood but we've got a really hot coal bed hot fire hot fire for sure <laughs> um but it's okay like we're gonna be able to this it's all hardwood so like that coal bed is gonna stay hot for hours we'll be able to cook our meal just fine and it's very hot and like I said it's warm out um the uh my watch has been sitting so let's find out what the temperature is if I had to guess I am sitting next to the fire hmm but I'm in just my same layers I came here in this is this is just a Santa hat too my ears aren't cold I'm gonna say 30 it's in the 30s got to be in the 30s I don't want to I don't think it's as high as 38 I think we're in the like 34 to 37 range so I'm gonna say we are at I'm gonna say 34 we're gonna go on the low end just because that's just what I'm feeling let's see let's find out let's see how good I am at guesstimate I'm probably terrible it's probably like 47 Well, it's two degrees Celsius. I don't know why this changed to Celsius. I never can. All right. The Celsius conversion, it's one of those things. <laughs> now I forget how it works. What is it? Um, how does it work? Well, it's at least not 32, so it's two degrees Celsius. What is that? Oh, why can't I remember right now? It's... It's... Yeah, you know what? I can't remember. It's something minus or plus something divided by something and... You know... It's funny that I remember this and then I forget it until I see it. You know, I usually, I like, once once I hit winter, I usually end up looking up the, again that I remember the whole winter and I, I can convert it like no problem, but then I just like, it's been so long, I've just forgot. It's been a year, okay? I haven't converted in a while. Okay, so sue me. That's, I think it's higher than 34, so I'm gonna say 37. I'm just gonna say 37. Final answer, 36, 37 my final answer oh poor Monty he definitely doesn't like these he's just been chilling I, I scooted up his little pad neither of us are cold though I might put on my jacket here just because like it's it's it is getting a little chilly like right here but the rest of me is toasty especially here that's a real toasty but 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 Oh, what? Oh, what? I think we're gonna get ready to make some food here. We're gonna make a feast. I'm so excited. Ugh, I am hungry. I'm just, I just like taking my time because it gets dark at five o'clock. So I gotta relax for a bit. I can't, I can't go to bed before like nine. Are you, in, are you crazy? Going to bed before nine? No way. It just doesn't happen. So I, I like to wait. Where are we at now? We're at about 7.30. So, um, well, it's been two and a half hours since it pretty much got the sunset and started getting dark. So if we cook, hour and a half of cooking, eating, relaxing, it'll be about nine, then we can slowly get ready for bed, I can relax. We'll be in bed by 10, 10.30, ish, 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 ish. So, I'm gonna get a stick. There's to there's all sorts of broken off uh, green trees all over the place because the heavy snow that we got. So I'm gonna go grab a branch. Might use two for our bannock. Do bannock on a branch? No, we'll do bannock in a pan with butter. We'll do patties like biscuits. Yeah, I brought enough. I brought enough pans. So we'll do that. But we need a stick for our ham. Nice chunk of pre-cooked ham that needs to be warmed up and charred. Yeah, speaking of green trees, um, since I was having so much trouble finding a nice tree, 
I was about, I saw a couple pine trees that were blown over and uprooted. So they're, they're, they're gonna die. I don't know if they're already dead, but dead and downed. If it's uprooted, it's gonna, it's gonna be a dead tree. I was about to cut off the top of one of those, do a Christmas tree the old fashioned way, but I prefer to have a nice little tree like this. You know, it's kind of fun. You know, sometimes I'll do the whole, you know, I'll try to get a really flat stick and get two Y sticks and rotate the meat over the fire. That's if I have like a, you know, big old rows for like two people or last year, what did I do? I think last year I did venison, but the year before that I did way too much ham and I pretty much just had ham with some like potatoes first year. This year I brought a lot less ham. I brought a one pound. I weighed it out in my food scale. One pound of the, a chunk of ham that should be plenty for me and him because like I said he's getting all the deliciousness tonight. No no kibble. I'm trying to be a little more reasonable with the meals. Even last, even on Sunday. <laughs> I couldn't eat it all. It was too spicy. But I'm gonna feast tonight. I think I brought I brought out enough bannock to where I can always make more, but I'm not gonna make. I'm just gonna make like one nice patty and break it up. But uh, okay, so we've got this. Ham is ready to go on here. We could use a little thinning out right here. Oh, another thing, I'm not making like homemade uh, mashed potatoes. We're gonna use instant mashed potatoes. Make life a little bit simpler. Could do homemade or uh, gourmet mashed potatoes, but I just, you know, I just decided against it. But if you want to know how to make some killer mashed potatoes for your Christmas, the trick I learned from my mom and dad is sour cream. You need butter, you need milk, you need good amount of salt and pepper. Not too much salt, not too little salt, just right my salt, but you need sour cream. Gots to have it. Make some creamy, very creamy mashed potatoes. Get that sour cream on there. Get your mashed potatoes for this holiday season to that next level. But yeah, that's what I would have done. We'll put a bunch of sour cream in there with the butter. Not too much milk. Makes them too liquidy. I guess. Let's get cooking. Let's make some food. I'm, I'm getting hungry. Let's do this, Monty. Is it time to start making dinner? Do you want a treat? Should we go over to the dog park? Let me tell you, there's nothing better than a hot fire and smoke swirling in your eyes. Oh. Okay, we've got the inferior grate today because um, you'll know the great grate is the greatest, obviously. You never, you never spill food. Oh no! Ever, so. That's why this is the inferior grate, but we need the surface area today. We need a little extra surface area because we're cooking more stuff. Um, that's why we've got to use this one. And you know, some people have been down the great grate lately. And you know, I just won't have that. You can't, no, you just don't doubt it. All right, we've got ham. We've got a chunk of ham here. This is a pound. Weight on a pound. It may not look like it, but it is. So we are just gonna. And you know, this is pre cooked. It, it, pretty obvious that it's pre cooked. You know, it's a chunk. So we're just gonna roast that just like that. We'll just slow roast that over the fire. We'll get it closer to what we need. Wait, is that even in frame? Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll do it like that. Perfect. And I know I'm using a Ziploc bag. I, I've i been getting Tupperware, so I've been getting better. Um, some things are just better in a Ziploc bag. Like, I didn't have a Tupperware that could fit this chunk of meat that wasn't massive, so I wish I could reuse these, but, you know, you get meats, juice in there, raw meat and stuff, it's kind of just like, eh. So I still got a few. We'll figure something out, okay? I promise. We're gonna figure something out eventually. So we've got a little corn. I'm gonna need a little bit of water in there. Just a little bit. I don't want it, I don't want it like. That's good. A little bit more. 
soupy corn. Okay. Oh, one thing I forgot with this ham here. <laughs> you know, it's pre cooked and everything. That doesn't mean a little Montreal on that there pre cooked ham would hurt. Oh, wait, Monty's eating this. Sometimes I don't think. Oh, the smoke in my eyes. <laughs> All right. Scratch the Montreal. Forgot the Monty. Oh, Montreal's so good. Monty, why can't you eat spices like that? Okay. So we need water for the mashed potatoes. So we'll go one, two. Oh my god, the smoke. Stop. Stop it. This needs to get boiling. We've got our ham cooking over the fire. Corn's on. Water for mashed potatoes. Next, we've got, let's see, using this pan to make our gravy. We need one cup of water. That would be just below the 24. We just got some cheapish gravy. I'm not making like homemade. Like I said, we're we're still making a lot of delicious food that I'm just gonna devour. But we're not, you know, if I were to make like a, a gourmet Christmas dinner here, I'd get a big old ham and a roaster. I'd put cloves in it and maybe some pineapple, some brown sugar, and some Montreal and just get it all on there. And then I'd let the juices drip off and I'd put that into gravy, thicken that up. And you know, I do, you know, corn and it, it just, and homemade mashed potatoes. But out here, we're gonna, we're gonna condense it a little bit. I could do all that, but it would be a lot of pots and pans and this just makes life simpler. And you know what? It's gonna be still delicious. So, you know what? Yeah, that's just the way it is, okay? Oh, we got that burned in half finally. So, we need to mix this in, this cheap old, cheap old brown gravy here. Okay. Oh, isn't that, that's some ASMR right there. The sound of the spoon scratching on the metal. Isn't that just wonderful? Doesn't that just bring joy to your life? <laughs> I'm sorry if that's like nails on a chalkboard to you. But I'm not sorry enough to not put it in the video. <laughs> All right, so once this is mixed, we've got to bring it to a simmer. Monty's getting excited. He's standing up on a sleeping pad. He's like, oh, what's going on over there? I kind of smell stuff. So it's coming together. What, do you want this? Yeah, you coming over to say hello. Once we get everything on here, we will, uh, we're gonna push some coals under here, but for now, we still got some work to do. Okay, next, we've got the trickiest thing. Trickiest thing to cook, the bannock. So this is a very basic recipe. I've got 1.5 cups of flour, one half teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder, not soda, powder for this bannock. So what we're gonna do this time for the first time ever, I'm not gonna add all the bannock in there. We're gonna leave a reserve. Why do we leave a reserve? Because we are evolving so that if this becomes too soupy and sticky, like it probably will, we can add more of that mixture and uh, make it make it good nice consistency oop might have been too much water see that's why we that's why we reserve some Are you gonna, are you gonna help?
Monty, I can't see. Monty. Let's see, this is a little sticky. It's a little sticky, and this is exactly why we left some reserve. Because I accidentally added too much water, so we're gonna add a little bit more of this and keep going. Monty's going to block all our light. Oops. Now this is starting to turn more like good made bannock. You should be able to handle it with your hands and it not be sticky. I think we need a little bit more flour to get there. It's still a little sticky, but we're almost there. But see how it's, it just clumped together? Yeah, a little bit more, just, just a little bit. Ooh, it's almost, it's almost perfect for the first time ever. Mm. Still a little sticky. We're getting flour and bannock stuff all over us. And a little bit more. Okay. Ooh, see, I can almost handle it with my hands. Perfectly. Set this down. Oh, see, there we go. This is the consistency we're looking for. See how it's not sticking to my hands? And I can just form it? This is what you want. I've never achieved this status of Bannock. This is the first. Because normally I just impatiently dump it all in the pan and uh, just add too much water and it's just gooey, sticky mess. But we finally learned a little bit. And actually it was the tips from you guys, you know, telling me to leave a little reserve as to why we're here. This is why we're here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we've got a nice, this is going to be a nice, delicious, I'm going to make it, I don't want it to be too thick, so we're going to form it to the whole size of the pan, this is what we're going to do. Nice bannock biscuit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take chunks of butter, put it on the bottom, and we'll just like lift this up, and we're going to put butter all over here so when it melts, it, this won't stick and just crisp out of the pan. Ooh, look at that. There we go, this is some bannock seed. Wrap this on a stick. It's like pizza dough, oh, okay. We did it. Okay, we're gonna take a chunk of butter, put it right under there. Why don't you take a couple chunks of butter? Just to be safe. Then we're gonna slide this around and kind of just swirl it as it heats up. And then, we're just gonna leave a few little slivers of butter on the top that melts and just soaks in so it's a little bit greasy. Okay, we're officially ready to cook everything. Bannock on there. And this over here. Get this close. Okay, now we need to scrape some holes. We need a stick, Monty. Excuse you. Okay. I'll move this in a sec. Oh, look at those coals. Oh, that's a hot fire. Ooh, it's real hot. Oh, geez. Spread these coals out evenly under all the food. You know, this flame will go out in a second. We don't want flames, we want coals. Flames equal burning. Get 
Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, it's already getting crispy on the bottom. Might need to flip this in a minute. We're gonna we're gonna turn the heat over to the corn. I already see a little browning happening on the bannock. This this is already boiling. Oh jeez. Okay. Ham's gotta get a little closer. Oh, maybe reds. Luckily these can sit for a while because they're like just magma in your mouth. We're gonna have these sit right here, cooling down. We're just sitting there. This is going well. Gravy is thickening. This is gonna need to slow down. We're gonna flip our bannock here. Okay, let's see. It's a little bit soft. Ooh, okay. It definitely needs some heat. It's a little gooey. We need to get that on the heat, get that cooking. The corn here. All right, that's boiling. That's, that's gonna need to slow down. So, all we need to do is finish up the ham here which is just roasting beautifully, and the bannock. The bannock definitely needs some loving. We gotta flip this bannock. Oh, all right, it's starting to get a little crispy on the one side. Ooh, all right, that's like perfect. Ooh, we've got a nice crust. Okay, that's what we want. Gravy is about perfectly done. Mashed potatoes are perfect, still hot. Corn, perfect. Okay, so we just need to finish this. Oh, and the ham. Move that back a little bit. Okay. Oh, look at that, just the crust on there. Oh, it's so good. This is gonna be the most perfect bannock we ever had. You're busted, mister. You're busted. Begging with those eyes. Little teeny bitey, beady eyes. You little begging reindeer. Yeah, I see ya. You're busted. Okay, we reached the point of, is it good enough? Ooh, it's just, oh. Oh, I think that's good enough. It's got a nice crust. It might be a little gooey in this chunk. Okay. <laughs> Let us plate up Christmas dinner. We've got some Christmas plates. Let's get these going. So Monty, you, always gotta, you guys gotta always remember that Monty weighs one third of what I do. So that means he should get one third of the food that I get. So we need to keep that fair. We can't overindulge our Monty, even though that might be what he wants. He's got to get a dog's portion. We don't want to make him sick, you know. We want our Monty to live a long, healthy life and also a delicious life. But long, healthy. Sometimes he's gonna get some treats. I would say that that actually looks like more than a third. I get corn. Monty does not get corn. Ooh, this is hot. Oh, geez. Ooh, hot. Slice some ham onto your plate. All 
I really want to taste the chunk. I'm slicing mine a little thin. All right, Monty gets another little chunk. Because you're such a good boy, I can't, I can't not give you more. Yes. The bannock. I'm like, oh, you're, you're gonna put more? More on my plate? Let's just flip it just to see. Oh, that looks so good. All right, Monty, we're gonna chunk you out a nice, fair chunk of bannock. I'm gonna break it up. Ooh, it's, it's perfectly cooked. Me, I'm gonna just break it up like that. And now, the finale. The moment we've all been waiting for, Monty, the gravy. You're gonna get a little, you're not gonna get too much gravy because, let's be honest, my guts can handle more of this than yours but you're still gonna get a fair amount. But me, I get gravy. I get lots of gravy, because I'm a human. Humans can put more garbage in their bodies than dogs and live a longer life. That's just the way it is, Monty, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. I am being fair. We just wanna keep, okay, a little bit more, okay. It's time for me and Monty, the dog deer, to eat our feast. Are you ready, Monty? Do you want a treat? Do you want to go for the dog park? Are you holding perfectly still? Because you think that maybe it'll increase your chances of actually getting that plate of food? I've got news for you. No matter what you do, you're getting that whole plate. You and I, we are about to feast. You've been a good boy. Let me just, oh, hold on, let me reset my chair. Oh, oh, oh we need to get this out too. There we go. Fire's going. <sighs> oh, my neck just cracked real good. Let me just get my plate of food here, Monty. Oh. It's a plate. It's about the same amount of food I take at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, you ready to feast, Monty? Go ahead. Okay, he wore the antlers long enough. They're coming off. What do we go for first? Bannock and mashed potatoes. You ever mix your, your, your biscuit? If you have a meal like this on like Christmas or Thanksgiving, do you mix your mashed potatoes and gravy and corn and stuff with your biscuits? I do. Mm. For the first time, I've made bandit correctly. Well, I've made it correctly before, but it was perfect. It's perfect this time. Mm hmm. There's a 100% chance that this is all going in my belly. 
that's a fact. Mm. Give me an extra gravy. Yeah, I'm on tea. Sorry. This is something you don't get to enjoy. Mm. Mm hmm. Do you want a little water? Will you for once in your life drink water I provide you? The answer is no. I will not drink that water. There's a chance you could give me more treats. I ain't gonna touch your water. So, I'm gonna finish up here. Shut off the camera. The stars are out. So I'm probably gonna stare at those for a minute. And uh, we're gonna do some cleaning up. So I will check back in with you guys when I'm either ready for bed or I got something else to say. I like to say a lot of stuff, you know, okay? I talk sometimes, okay? So it might be some of that, and it might be some of the bedtime stuff. Or, excuse me, could be rude burping. Who knows? I'm a bag of surprises. What? Hi. Oh, yes, you big fluffy teddy bear. Oh, you want to kick your legs? Yeah. Monty leg exercises, huh? Oh yeah. That's a big floofy booty. Oh, that's a good boy. Monty, you feel like you've lost some weight. Stinky, stinky, stinky dug. Monty, come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. Come on. Oh boy, look at you. Come on. Lay down. Oh, that was almost perfect. Do you mind if I just scoot your boot? Can I scoot your butt? You care? I'll be okay. I'm gonna do it. Booty. There you go. And guess what? You can retire these for the day. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's a good boy. Oh, we got some snowballs or something? Alright, so. We are not going to zip Monty up today. We are just going to wrap him. Just like this. We'll zip him up in a few hours, maybe. But uh, it's... Oh, my little too... There we go. There we go. It's a little too warm. He probably won't even like it, to be honest. We'll keep an eye on him. It's definitely still very warm, so... He just ain't gonna want to be zipped up in there. He's got too thick of a coat. We'll probably leave him like that. He'll pass out. 
and then I'll drape it over him and he'll probably get nice and toasty. Might move around a few times throughout the night. I don't think it's going to be below freezing and even if it gets a little bit below it's... He can honestly sleep out in 32 degrees or zero Celsius and just be fine in the open with just insulation from the ground but we like to spoil and pamper him you know. Keep him nice and toasty but he's going to be just fine. Anywho, I had a delicious feast. I'm sleepy. I did a lot of relaxing and chilling by the fire. And I'm ready to pass out. So, we're going to see if Mr. Santa comes along. And if he does, he better not give me no gifts like last year. Oh, what's it going to be? What is it? Is that coal? There's just coal in here. What the heck, Santa? What gives? Well, I'll tell you what gives. You got a ticket straight to the naughty list because remember that one time when you chased me with an axe? And then, then remember the one time when you pretended to throw me in the river? And then, and then all the times you stuck me in a poncho in the pouring rain? And then, and then the one time you dressed me up like a reindeer? And then, and then there was that one time when you smacked me in the face with a stick. And then, uh, there's a couple times where you woke me up in the middle of the night and scared the crap out of me. And then, you dressed me up as a fairy. You played trumpet in my face. You threw snowballs at me. And last but not least, all the times when you lifted up my tail and checked my butt on camera and really embarrassed me. So yeah, that's why you got cold this year. Yeah. Anywho, I'm going to pass out. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas! Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Come here. Oh. Anyway. What if we do this? What do I like that? here for a minute ah, can you even see me oh yeah yeah you can't you can kind of see me so I got real windy last night oh, it's just so I always put all this stuff in my sleeping bag just in case I'm cold it's always chilly in the morning Monty what are you doing he's looking for scraps what a crazy if you're wondering if I slept with my Santa hat on all night, yes, I did. Um, this is the hat I used for warmth, so <laughs> it was on all night. <sighs> yeah, I slept pretty good. Slept for quite a while. We didn't quite make it to uh, our 10 o'clock mark, so... Good old 10 hours of sleep here, 10 or 11 or something like that. Monty. <laughs> Stinky. Oh, well, I 
guess it's time to get up. There's no way any big guy in a red suit with a beard came last night because we would have heard it. There's just no way. No. Not possible. I'm not even going to check the tree. We're just going to assume he didn't come because I know better. Santa Claus didn't come. But he would have been barking. But anyways, it's time to get up. Get some layers, huh? And greet the day. Let's do it. Hi. Hi, Marty. I'm Bunsy Bunny. Oh, you're vicious. Oh, don't forget your antlers. Wait, 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 wait. You want a stick? Do you want a stick? Okay, let's get a stick. There you go. There you go. Oh, you're, you're crazy. You're crazy. You want this? You want this bouncy bunny reindeer thing? <laughs> All right. Well, get it, Monty. Bring it here. Come on, Monty. Bring it here. Bring it here, Monty. You bring that stick right here. You bring that stick right here. Monty, bring it here. It's Christmas. You don't do this to me on Christmas. Come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. Come on. Come on. Where's your, there's your Christmas spirit. There's your Christmas spirit. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, you want the stick again? You want the stick? Get it, Monty. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty warm last night, but that wind, like I said, kicked up. And uh, it kind of blew my shelter around. I was thinking that this, this peg looked like it was going to fall out, but it ended up staying in. But it was definitely just gusts and winds, and that was crazy. It was just, whoosh, and the whole shelter was blowing and flopping, and, and then it died off. All right, Monty, you going to bring me that stick? I was kind of hoping Santa would come, you know, but there's no way he put any presents under the tree. There's... Oh my gosh, <laughs> Santa came and brought presents. Monty, come here Monty, we got presents. Monty, come here, come here Monty. You got one from Santa and I got two. Where's your antlers? Monty. Monty, right there, presents. Yeah, oh, there you go. Are you gonna get them, Monty? You gonna open them all? Yeah, Monty, get them. Yeah. Go ahead, Monty. <laughs> Monty, he opened my present. <laughs> Monty is opening the presents. <laughs> Get him, Monty. Go ahead, get it. What'd you open up? Oh, he opened up my present. What is this, Monty? Get it. Get it. What is it? What is it? Get it, Monty. Get it, Monty. Open it. Yeah. What is it? What did Santa get me? Oh my gosh. Reusable Ziploc bags. <gasps> no way. How did he know, Monty? How did he know? We've got some small ones and then some big ones. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Santa. Helping the environment. Get it. All right, this one's to me too. Get it, Monty. Get it. Yeah, open it up. Get it. Get it. What is it? Get it, Monty. Get it. Get it, Monty. Get it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh. It's new military surplus wool gloves. 
See, mine got these thumbs, these holes in the thumb. <gasps> Monty, thanks for helping me open my gifts. You gotta get yours now. All right, Monty. This one's for you. Okay, you ready? Get it, Monty. This one's from Santa for you. Get it, yeah. Get it, open it up. Yeah. Good job, good job, Monty. Get it, get it, Monty. Open it up, get it. Yeah, good boy. Get it. Tear it up. Tear it up, Monty, get it. Come on, get it, Monty. Come on, Monty, get it. Get it. What is it, Monty? Get it. Get it. Oh, there you go. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's beef jerky, Monty. It's beef jerky. Oh my gosh, you got exactly what you wanted from Santa. Okay, let's feed you your present. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Monty. I didn't know you were so enthusiastic about opening gifts. <laughs> All right, Monty. Here's your Christmas gift. Here you go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you the whole piece at once. You gotta chew it off. Yeah, there you go. Get it, Monty. Get it. There you go. Good boy. That's a good little carnivorous reindeer. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> Here you go. Little carnivorous reindeer. Here you go. Good boy. Hey. Yeah. I'm not going to feed him both of his beef jerkies right now. We don't want him to get the poops. So I'll have another one later. That's such a good boy. I was not expecting him to be so excited about <laughs> ripping open the presents. He knew exactly what to do. You knew exactly what was going on, didn't you? I'll take these antlers off. Come here. Come here, Munchie. He wants more. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like, more presents, more stuff. Get him, Munchie. Get him, Munchie. These things could have treats in them. <laughs> That's a good boy, Monty. Oh, you're so smart. Well, our tree, uh, the only lights that stay lit is the, the star, these little color LEDs, and these white ones. The rest of them died. Oh yeah, these died too. So, I think it's time to uh, take down camp here. We gotta head back. We got friends and family to visit, so Monty, what do you think? He wants more of his treats. He's like, I, I, I earned those presents, and you're gonna keep them from me? Okay, fine. Fine, you win. You win. You sure you don't wanna share them with Ruger when we get home? No. Oh my. You see Ruger out here opening gifts? Good boy. I'm gonna eat a little piece. Gotta have a little bit. There you go. Okay. Well. Yup. We're gonna get taken down the tree. Tearing down camp. I'm getting ready to head out of here. So let's take it out some stuff. Yeah, as far as these booties go, I've got a lot of questions about uh, which ones I use. I link them down in the description. I'm not sure what the, it's Mountain Ridge, maybe? Something? I don't know. I, I linked them down in the, the bottom of the description of the video. They're down there. So if you want these, the reason I like these is because they're cheap. They're not like cheap material, they're actually great, but they're cheap because when you're using these and you're going through deep snow, it's inevitable that they're gonna fall off. I don't care what booties you got. The only way that they would not fall off is if the booties were attached to some kind of suspender or like strap that went over the shoulder so that they just kind of pulled up and there's no way they could actually fall off. But it's just, it's not possible for these little things to just stand with a dog running around. 
So you're going to lose them. And these are like, what, two, three bucks a per shoe? You buy them by the shoe, not like a set of four, which is what was driving me nuts before. You get, I got the ones that were like 40 bucks for a set of four, and they've got like the little, they've got like a, just a big pad in there to like close it out from the snow. And it just doesn't work. It just don't work. All it did was rip Monty's dew claw and push it above that pad and it was just like pressing on it. And last but not least, the star. Already got to shed some layers, Monty. It's warm. I'm already, I'm getting like toasty, just putting my stuff away. Oh, it keeps dogs. All right, Monty. Monty dear, Mont dear. What are we going to be called? I think that's it. So, just want to say again, Merry Christmas everyone. If you're visiting friends and family and whatnot, be safe on them roads because uh, let's be honest, you know, you can go deep into the woods and stuff. That ain't as dangerous as being on those roads. Not even close. You can always be the best driver, but you can't protect yourself from other people. So be safe. And once again, like I said, Merry Christmas. So we are going to get heading back to the car. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap this one up. So as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys at the mayor next video. <laughs> ho, 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 Merry Christmas. All right, let's go, buddy. You lead the way. You wanna lead the way? Or am I leading the way? All right, you lead the way.